It zoomed past. That's bad. Look, where I'm pointing. <gasps> there he is. Hey friends, I'm back, and in today's video, it is an adventure vlog. We have just wrapped up four days of lockdown. It was originally supposed to be three and then it got extended, which is fine. But the last two days, the weather was miserable, rainy, stormy, and it got to a point where we kind of even lost track of the days. It was definitely not the way that I thought my first week of school holidays were gonna go. But today is a beautifully sunny day and we are gonna make the most of having our freedom back and we're gonna go on an adventure. We have just found our baby carrier, which is behind me now that Finny Bear is getting bigger. I can't put him in the sling anymore and this thing is so comfortable. But first, let's get dressed. That's better. All ready for today. I feel like when I'm baby wearing, I really do need to put my hair up and to wear thinner layers even though we are in the middle of winter. So let's get on with today. So this is our first trip where we're having to pack bottles because usually for nurses, but today he is getting a bottle feed. So we're just double checking that we've got everything, including snacks. Am I gonna be 45 minutes on the road? If that, yeah. yeah. That should be pretty quiet, hopefully. So we'll see you up there. Getting directions to Mary Kencross Scenic Reserve. It was really funny when coming up this way we had to go past Australia Zoo and the girls were really disappointed actually that we weren't stopping in for the zoo today but now that we've started the ascent up into the hinterlands it really is beautiful up here and this is exactly what our family needed and sometimes we get so stuck in doing the same thing over and over again that having these little adventures where you get to do something new and exciting like, it makes it worth it. We are here and we're gonna go on a rainforest walk today. Sound good? And a special morning tea. Yeah! Yay! Oh, can't food. Food the I know, the food cart didn't really work. I just don't think they've processed it yet. Okay, let's go! I would be up waiting for you if you had to leave. We're not used to wearing masks and thankfully we remembered before we reached people. So Mick had to go back and grab our masks. I think when we came last, we did a trail that was dirt, but the guys said to turn around, didn't they? Because yeah. we went towards that. So we're heading towards the um, canopy lookout, I think is what it was called. But when we get down, I reckon we go ask them about the actual bushwalk. Maybe we're at the wrong entry point. I think we have, yeah, but we'll do the playground after the walk. Yeah. We have found the bush walk track and Zoe just heard a kookaburra, didn't you? Yeah, so I think we might be on the lookout for a kookaburra. Yeah, that was just a little kind of track. It wasn't actually the path. So hopefully now we are finding it. <sighs> this is our third trail. 
and we're yet to find the actual bushwalk. Which way do we want to go? Any more patamelons? Go both ways. We have more of a chance if we go this way though. That was good. Again, I didn't see it. It zoomed past. If we're quiet enough, That's what he might come back, Amira. Left side, look where I'm pointing. <gasps> there he is. It's a patamelon. Hey, look. Yeah. Is it in tree? So cool. I've never seen a patamelon before. Have you? Yeah, I feel like I have. So that's the first time I've seen a patamelon before. We saw the little pictures on the map, but we didn't think we'd see them. So that's the third one we've seen, but the first one we've been able to get on film. They're so fast and they just hop across the footpath. One, the first one hopped across as the mirror was walking, which is a really cool experience. And then, yeah, this is the third one that we've been able to actually visibly see it hasn't kind of run off on us. Why trees are so important. I am 48 meters tall. Oh my goodness. Number three, muk muk. Yeah. Who's a flopsy mopsy? Turn to the side, mum. So Michael's just told me that Finn's asleep, which is hilarious seeing as we've done about a kilometre of our walk and we only have like 300 metres left. Let's have a look. <laughs> can you see it? Yeah, I can. That's hilarious. One of the big reasons for us coming out today is, yes, we were coming out of lockdown, but Finn is also entering his seventh Wonder Leap. And if you are a parent and you understand Wonder Leaps, you know that they are full of fussy, cranky babies who lose their sleep routine. So we thought instead of being at home after being locked in for such a long time, we'd get out and about and I think all bobs love to just sleep on you. Finn in particular is quite a koala bear so that is the reason why we've gone for this rainforest walk, hoping that Finn would first of all sleep in the car, which he didn't. <laughs> and now, yeah, we're going for a walk and he's falling asleep. Point three kilometers was definitely enough. Now it's time for morning tea. Are you awake now? So Mick gets to nurse and I get to play with the kids, which is <laughs> a whole new world, but it's exciting.
thing. No. So we've gone to eat lunch and there's no tables available, but a whole heap was reserved. So note to future self, if we ever do come back, that we will call up and make a reservation. So now we're going to try and find somewhere for lunch, which isn't ideal, but that's okay. Otherwise, it's been a really good day. We're home now and we are currently putting all the kids to sleep. It is much later than we expected it to be. It is close to 2 p.m. I was saying to Michael like when we were out and about and it was just Finn sleeps that we weren't in routine for, it was fine for me to deal with because I could kind of justify it and say, well, he's in a wonder leap and he's not really gonna get a good sleep at home. So we might as well be out and about. But when we hit that midday mark and we were starting to get into Zoe's routine and missing her sleep, that's when my anxiety really did start to peak. And now that it's two o'clock and we're only just putting the kids to bed, it's, yeah feeling quite nervous and anxious about it all, but it's been such a great day. It really is worth getting out and about and doing something new. It cost us nothing to do the bushwalk this morning. The only expense we had today was going out for lunch. So I hope you've liked today's video. I hope it has helped you if you're feeling like you're stuck in those four walls of your house to get out and about. If it has, please give this video a big thumbs up. It really does support my channel. Don't forget to hit subscribe and tap that bell because we upload every Monday and Thursday because this parenting gig doesn't come in the real book we only have each other and i'll see you in my next video bye i'm somewhere in the middle try to find myself again but life is one big riddle